The more we learn about Robert Mueller as special counsel, the more evident it becomes it needs to be disbanded. Those paying attention to the case know the name Andrew Weissman, who has been serving as Mueller as Pitbull and Lieutenant throughout the Russia probe. Weissman was outed earlier this week for praising former acting Attorney General Sally Yates after she defied President Trump over his travel ban. And now we've just found out something even more damning he was a Hillary Clinton's election night party. This reeks to high heaven. The Daily Caller has more. Andrew Weissman's attendance at the party is one of many signs pointing to a troubling bias from the attorney. Weissman has been described by the New York Times as Mueller's lieutenant in Pitbull. Conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch obtained an email Tuesday that reveled Weissman praised former acting Attorney General Sally Yates' defiance of Trump. I am so proud and in awe. Thank you so much. All my deepest respects. Weissman wrote to Yates on January 30th. The email followed Yates' instruction to the Doe not to defend an executive order banning immigration from seven nations an act that led to her dismissal by President Trump. Weissman is one of several Democratic donors that have been hired by Mueller, a registered Republican. The special counsel S. Pitbull donated a combined 6,600 to the presidential campaigns of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Jesus, this is bad, really bad. Weissman isn't he the only fervently anti-Trump member of Mueller's team or our corrupt Justice Department, either. Don't he forget? FBI agent Peter Sturzok was removed from the council after his extreme anti-Trump views were revealed in text messages. That has not to mention, a top official within the Justice Department was just demoted after numerous contacts with the firm responsible for curating the so-called Russian dossier. Fox News reports, a senior Justice Department official was demoted this week amid an ongoing investigation into his contacts with the opposition research firm responsible for the anti-Trump dossier. The department confirmed to Fox News. Until Wednesday morning, Bruce G. Orr held two titles at Doe Associate Deputy Attorney General, a post that placed him four doors down from his boss, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, and Director of the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force Zoklitv, a program described by the department as the centerpiece of the Attorney General's drug strategy. Or will retain his Zoknitv title, but has been stripped of his higher post and ousted from his office on the fourth floor of Maine Justice. Initially senior department officials could not provide the reason for ORS demotion, but Fox News has learned that evidence collected by the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence (C), chaired by Republican Devin Nunes, R. California indicates that Orr met during the 2016 campaign with Christopher Steele, the former British spy who authored the dossier. Later, a Justice Department official told Fox News it is unusual for anyone to wear two hats as he has done recently. This person is going to go back to a single focus director of our organized crime and drug enforcement unit. As you know, combating transnational criminal organizations and drug trafficking is a top priority for the Attorney General. Meanwhile, it is also being reported that the federal judge who heard Michael Flynn's guilty plea has recused himself from the case. The reason why is uncertain, but many speculate he was the fisted judge who signed off on the warrant to tap members of the Trump campaign. Could it be any more obvious that this whole fiasco is a silent coup?